the silk was really difficult to find. Nobody thought I would really find it and stuff. And I was like, yes, I did it. I found it. But it was very difficult. And it was almost by chance. It was almost by chance and stuff. So yeah. Um, so how did it start? First of all, we had no idea, of course. Um, I, would, I was just trying to think, think, think. And then I asked Mama Nikke. I heard it. Yeah, so we're not like, what the hell? Like, this woman knows so much. Like, I'm so grateful for her. So that's how I was like, hi, how are we going to get there? That's how, like, well, my sister, assistant used to, like, the prince of Undo or something like that, like the son of the prince or something. He, we called him. He then directed us to somebody that did like a study on silk or something like that, something ridiculous like that. That's how that, that woman was chasing her, chasing her, chasing her. We even thought we weren't going to like make like our plans and stuff. And that's how she, she just gave us some very like brief, we couldn't even hear what she was saying. like directions and stuff then we're just going around we we actually just went with that and we're like with luck we'll get there we're just going to different places i would just be saying and um, we thought we heard terriculture terriculture so we can't just say terriculture Terriculture. That's how my other assistant was just like, do you guys mean terriculture? I was just like, oh, that actually sounds, makes sense. Then she shouldn't have said Terriculture Center. She should have said Ondo State Wealth Creation Agents. Uh -huh. Weka. Wait, sorry, sorry. Wait, wait, wait. Huh? Long story short, we got there. I was just like, oh my God, there's a Terriculture. Wow. We got there and then we just asked like the person, oh, who's the manager of this place? And then they directed us to this woman, Mrs. Jayola. We have a big coal storm in there. Oh. So this generator is to service that coal storm. Mm -hmm. But it's there, so everything is intact. It's actually one of the best people we met like throughout this like who like research and things. She's so warm, so kind hearted. Like she just is a good person and you don't get that a lot anywhere, you know? And so she took us around, she showed us the loom, she showed us like even the, the um, caterpillars and things like that. Anything. She had even the, co the cocoons of our own silk. But there's, there's actually, they actually don't do the, our own indigenous silk. There's another silk that, the one that we all know is the one from Asia and things, and that's what they, they are doing. She explained all the different things about it. Um, she was very inspirational. There's something that she said that was really impactful to me. She said that I think it's a shame, it's a national shame that it's as if we cannot close ourselves in this. Yeah. True. That everything, mm -hmm. yeah. everything they are wearing that and where everybody is important. What if those countries decide that okay, Nigeria, you are not buying clothes from our country, still am I what That's so true. And that's the reason why I'm doing this exhibition. Like doing this kind of exhibition the palm wine to this and it can be something else it's going to be something else the next time about us knowing like what we have to empower us to make us like know that we don't need outside to survive we can do it ourselves so as she was taking us around, we, um, we noticed that they didn't really, they didn't have light and that actually really slows down their like production process. Mm -hmm. It normally takes six months to ash. Mm -hmm. 
If we had regular electricity supply, mm. we can afford to cool stop. Mm -hmm. We stop running for about two months. But as it is now, we have to continue. Yeah, more. Okay. Uh, no, 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 no. They are just. Um, they need help, Shah, and I hope that this exhibition kinds of gets people to help. Mm. It's too tedious. Mm. It will break sometimes in a day, maybe like up to 15 days. After that, and she even gave us like Malta it drinks for us, and she just said we made her day, which I was like, what? We and because we just bombarded her and she was so hospitable and everything like I really like I really liked her a lot and so like we went back like to go and sleep. Ondo is actually quite pretty like quite pretty as in I like the rocks it's very rocky and things and apparently the thing about Ondo is snakes like they have a lot of snakes or something well I never saw anything so that's good. And the hotel was interesting. <laughs> um, there was a toilet that had its own, like, its own, what's it called, drainage. Anything I could like ask for, she showed us. So you're taking out the dirty. And your dirty, so I know you're So guys, how